As 10 TV's Kristen Hartman shows us right now, the first 72 hours have been pretty successful. To make the dream of home ownership come true is no small thing. It takes manpower. Every day of our build, we have a partner that partner brings with it dozens of volunteers. After they raised the walls, they got busy on the rest of the house. An army of volunteers working to make a dream come true. And when I say army, I mean it. We're going to have over 2,400 hours of volunteer time in this house in five days. All for the homeowner to be. Christine Travis took in her two nieces who've had a tough childhood. Her goal is to give them a home they can truly call their own. She's teaming with Habitat for Humanity Mid-Ohio to do it, putting in hours of her own sweat equity on this build and others. I'm just so inspired by her, and so Dan would be a part of this and help her do that. This, I'm just excited to do this. Doing this, for most of the volunteers here, means learning new skills. Tanya McCleary's day job is at 10 TV. That I know how to do. This is a whole new ball game. But it's definitely rewarding and it's worth it. And if we can bring hope to a family and bring a family together, that's really why we're all here. Yours truly included. While on site, I ran into a member of the very first Columbus family to live in a Habitat home. She gives her time now because people gave theirs for her. She loves these builds. You know, it's a process. It's like having a baby. You know, you, you start one way and you get your progress and then bam, your baby is here. It's a great thing. But we are not done yet. Volunteers will continue to cycle through until Christine's baby, the home of hope, is born Monday. We are so grateful and we truly thank you. We worked alongside today's partner, 31 Gifts, to install floors and hang doors and put in a kitchen. The progress continues tomorrow. From our home of hope, I'm Kristen Hartman, 10TV News.